Good morning. So it's another day today, and I want to bring to you some of the things, um, some of the events that have been taking place since I got here. Today is actually day three. It's early in the morning. It's around six. It's just six o'clock, and um, yesterday, yesterday we had our first test for. COVID-19 but before I go for it um, the first time at the first recording I did I had a little bit of issues because I didn't have a stable place to put my camera but um, this is a device um, Osmo mobile 3 combo I got from my last trip to Amsterdam that's it so for those of you who want to go into vlogging and youtube and stuff this is very good it comes with a tripod and it's easy to use yeah so yesterday um i was in my room and we got a call from the reception that i had to come down for my test so we went down for the test and i mean it was it was pretty simple there's going to be a second test, but the first test, we were given this container, this red container. I'm going to do a set of um, how the whole process went about. They gave us this container and we had to um, bring out our flames into the container and it will be taken to the lab for test. As to when the results are going to come in, um, we haven't been informed yet yes so basically that's that's it. trying to um, work on my weight and it hasn't been easy this is something I've been struggling with for about three to four years there are times I would already start to go to the gym I go for a week or I think the best I've done is like two weeks then I stop and there are times I try to work on my diet then somewhere along the line i i mean i don't know should i say i deceive myself then i go back to eat because let me say i'm a lover of food so i think with when it comes to weight loss um which basically i'm going to talk about today when it comes to weight loss with what i've read online and what i've been informed by people it has to do with um uh, our individual bodies and how it works there are people who probably the gym will not work for and you have to find other ways either you cut down on carbohydrates and fatty food like sugary food or you eat in moderation so for me what i'm trying to do now is to eat in moderation and do more of tea because i'm a tea lover so um, I've been taking tea in the morning, the afternoon I try to eat a little bit of food, less carbs, more veggies. Then in the evening I do fruits and tea yeah, before I sleep and it's, it's my prayer and hope that by the time I'm out of this um, quarantine at least I'll be able to have shed a little bit of weight. Like I said earlier, I'm, I'm not a big fan of um, going to the gym, so but I'm a lover of tea, yes. Yeah. So these are three um, things I'm using now fat, fat burner, if you can see. And this is it's just a tea, you just like add it to hot water, and you can add a little bit of honey or lime, and it makes you pee a lot. Then there is this one, um, ballerina that makes you pull. Then there's another one, um, Olistat. Olistat is um, it's a caps. It's quite expensive, but uh, it's very, very effective. What it does is it brings out excess oil from your body. So when you poo or you urinate, I mean, you're going to see some kind of oil. And with time, like within a week or something, it's like you will definitely see changes in your life so i'm trying to combine all this three by and as well checking my diet also yeah and it's during this 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 current time period um one would ask 
being confined in a hotel, a small space, what do you do? I've been trying to watch TV, but there isn't anything interesting for me to watch. So what I've started doing is to work on a story that I had back in Nigeria. But the problem was I couldn't write while in Nigeria because I didn't carry my laptop with me. But God being so good, I have my laptop here. So I started writing and hopefully God being so good when all of this is over, um, hoping and praying that I would be able to bring this script to light, yeah. I've been doing a lot of Netflix scene because there's been a lot of African, very good African content on um, Netflix these days, especially from Nigeria. They have amazing movies. So if you're a lover of African narratives, you can um, log on there and see some of these movies here. Another thing um, I find as a relief during this period is um, for me to be able to rest because I mean the nature of my work I'm always on the go I'm always working I always have something to do I have to be here I have to be there so I think this two weeks session for me to rest um, find enough peace <laughs> Maybe there's something.